Welcome to the Polynesian Resort at Disney World. We're gonna be doing the Spirit of Aloha dinner show. I haven't done this since I was very little, so it's all going to be very new for me because I don't remember any of it. I'm Disney bounding Moana today. I'll show you more about my outfit later. I just can't wait to have this experience and I'll give you my review, take you along for the entire thing so you can see if it's something you wanna to do too. Look how beautiful it is here. So for Spirit of Aloha, you pay in advance, and that's kind of nice because once you get here, you don't have to worry about it. So the tickets, I guess, you get them when you arrive at the Polynesian. So we got here early, it's about three o'clock. Our show is at 5.15. Um, they told us to get in line about an hour before our show to get our tickets. So there's level one, two, and three. Level one is the closest to the stage, and it is the most expensive. Then level two is midway, and level three is farther back. So we did level one because we're celebrating my mom's birthday today and we thought it would be fun to just sit as close to the stage as possible and because I'm vlogging I want you guys to have a good seat too. If you come here early there's so many great places to sit. Look at this. Nice, cushy, relaxing. It's not as beautiful as it used to be. Um, it used to have huge huge fountains and greenery everywhere but I think they were having mold issues is what I heard and so this was a much better we'd rather do this than have mold but this is really pretty with the tiki it's a little mini fountain so I don't know if that's true about why they got rid of all of the waterfalls that they had before but that's what I heard out there you'll be able to see the castle in the distance the pool pineapple and I you get a dole whip but I think we're gonna be eating a lot so we're probably not gonna do that I love this tiki he looks so happy the last time I showed this to you, it was winter and it was nighttime, but now you can see what it looks like during the day. It's beautiful. I love how the top of the pool looks like a volcano. There are some of the rooms. Stayed in those when I was little. It looks really far away in my camera, but standing here, it actually looks, well, it doesn't look that close, but I can see it really well. You just can't see it as well on the camera. There it is, it's so pretty. We're taking the beautiful path back to the beach so you can take a little walk before it's time to get our tickets. We've arrived at the beach. Over there is the Grand Floridian in all its beautiful white and what would you call that? Like a dark, orangish, reddish glory. Oh, there's a boat. Grand Floridian has a very Victorian, turn of the century vibe. There's the castle, more boats. Here are the bungalows. But it's unfortunate, it would be really fun to stay in the bungalows, but it's unfortunate that they're exactly right there because it does kind of change the view. You can see there's a nice sandy beach. Looks like there's a fire pit for activities. There's the boat coming in. You can take the boat um, to Magic Kingdom. So that's another way to get here. If you're staying in another resort, take the bus to Magic Kingdom and then you can take the boat over instead of the monorail. There is the Pineapple and I and there's a desk here where you will go to get your Spirit of Aloha tickets and it looks like someone is coming to set up. Look at the lays. So we just got our lays for the show and we got our tickets and we're waiting in line to see where we're going to sit and I'm getting really excited. We're headed to Luau Cove. It's finally time. They told us to make sure we get there around 5 o'clock for the 5.15 and so we're heading there now. It's a little bit of a long walk to Luau Cove but apparently the seat assignments or the table assignments are done in the order that you do your reservation. So you do you pick your levels, level one, two, or three, and then you pay for those. And then from that point, where you sit in level one or level two or wherever is going to be um, determined upon when you made the reservation. So I can't remember how early we made our reservations. I don't think it was crazy early. I know that we're in section C. So we're going to go not there. Look how pretty it is. There are the boats. There's a better shot of the boats. There's some of the ones that you can rent. If you come through the lobby and you're facing that way, that's where the water is, you're going to turn to the left. Here is the menu. 
It comes with these appetizers. and it is all naturally gluten-free. There's pulled pork, chicken, ribs, and rice. The food is delicious. The cast came out and they sang a little bit and so that was fun. I, we're having kind of a break right now so I guess like you start eating, they have some music, you eat, and then they come back out um, after you've eaten your whole meal. So I'm looking forward to that part of it. But that's my review so far. I'm gonna dig into the rest of my food.
after the show. The level three, I think, up there. Age, and you can kind of see this whole area, how huge it is. So this sandy area is where the luau lets out after it's over. There's the contemporary over there, and then it winds around to the Grand Floridian at sunset. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Now for my review, let's start with the good part. The dancers were incredible. Oh my gosh. I just have so much respect for the Hawaiian culture, the Polynesian culture. It's beautiful. I love the costumes. I love the dancing. I love that they're sharing their culture this way. I know this is a tourist event, so I'm sure there are things that are maybe not authentic or, you know, could be more authentic, but still it made me want to learn more. So I guess that's a positive thing. I mean, it's beautiful and I love that they explained what every dance was. Um, I'm not going to remember all of it, but hopefully I think I got some of it on the video. Um, the fire dancer was just awe-inspiring. Um, he took it across his tongue at one point which totally freaked me out but he was okay it definitely just makes me want to look up more about um, hula dancing Hawaiian dancing um, I would love to learn some at some point I loved being able to get up there I thought it was just gonna be kids at first so I wasn't gonna go up but then it looked like there were some adults going up so I recommend that because it was kind of hard to follow along because they were just dancing and you were kind of trying to mirror it so it was always a little bit behind and that's weird for me being a dancer uh, because because I kind of didn't like the fact that I didn't know what I was doing, but it was still fun and I kind of caught on a little bit. So I enjoyed that part. Food was amazing. The pulled pork was my favorite. The salad was good. The pineapple was good. Um, pineapple is really sweet and delicious. And the dessert was pretty good for gluten-free. They brought OMG brownies and OMG cookies. And I do not remember if I, I don't think I filmed that because they brought it out during part of the show. Now for the parts that's not so great. I think that if you were not in level one, it would be really hard to feel like you were part of the show. Um, you might've seen that it was kind of hard to film around some heads and we were just one table back I think so I could see and I definitely did a lot of watching it or like when I film I've told you guys this before I don't believe in living life through a screen even though I'm a blogger so I kind of hold my camera there and um, try to look at it with my real eyes <laughs> with my actual eyes instead of through a screen so I can actually take in the memories so I still enjoyed it I could see it really well for level one but if I had sat any farther back I think that it would kind of ruin the experience because there were so many people and even though the level three was elevated Elevated, you were just kind of you're in a covered area, which is nice because it's not hot But you're so far back That I don't know that you're seeing the stage very well and it was absolutely huge So I think if we had sat anywhere else we were pretty close to the stage if we sat anywhere else We wouldn't have been able to see it that well So I think if you're gonna do it just go ahead and spend the extra money um, So you can sit in level one because you'll you will be able to see the show that way It's an expensive dinner, but the food and the show to me was worth it if you're in level one I just had to show you my outfit it's a Moana Disney bound that my mom made which is in Disney it makes me feel so happy to wear this um, Moana is such a great movie and she's such a fun princess and she's so strong girl power sunset on the Polynesian beach. The perfect way to end the day. Oh my gosh. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Can you see it? Maybe? There's the monorail. Aloha. The sun is setting on this magical evening. I hope you had a good time at the luau and I hope you enjoy getting a chance to hear my review of the good and the bad. And I hope that helps you make a decision on your trip and if nothing else, I hope it just brought a little magic to your day. Be sure to subscribe below because my vlog is all about princess style, magical lifestyle, Disney, and I can't wait to hang out with you on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you next time. Bye.